I would like to preface this video first before I say anything. Um, by uh, before all you tech fans and, and other Texas haters start typing stuff below, talking about how uh, I'm just a uh, Texas homer who uh, can't get credit to other teams or who can't be critical of his own team. Uh, this is the same guy who um, ripped my t I ripped my own team last week after a 34 to 7 win over Wyoming. Um, so keep that in mind when you're listening to what I have to say in this game. So Texas 24. Tech 14. You know, this was a game full of mistakes by both teams, turnovers, pen penalties were inexcusable. Um, but I think it was fairly obvious to anyone who watched that whole game that the team with the better talent came out on top today. Um, Texas Tech, man, I, I really did overestimate Texas Tech and I underestimated the Texas defense man you know that Texas defense I knew we were good I knew we were going to be real good this year but to hold the Texas Tech Red Raiders to one offensive touchdown and for I don't know what was it less than 150 yards of offense and I don't you know in, in, in Tech fans you know you're going to get this whole thing from Tech about oh we should have played Sheffield's Texas you know pot sucks Whatever. Look, Sheffield got to play a series. He got his tail kicked. Jackson Jeffcoat just slung around like a rag doll. And also, if you want to think that you know more than Tommy Tuberville, who's a legendary college football coach, then be my guest. Because we all know that the people who know the most about football are the Texas Tech people affiliated with that program. You know, we excel in mediocrity. Um,. A lot of this is from, you know, having to hear comments from Tech fans for a while, you know. But you'll always have 2008, and that's, that's kind of what will be the mantra for a while from Texas Tech fans. But with the game tonight, with this defense, I mean, the way that we were able, the, the, the thing that impressed me the most about Texas so much was we got pressure on the quarterback, which is great. But also, our corners and safeties were able to get under Texas Tech receiver routes. That's pretty hard to do with the way, you know, how, how good Tech is running routes. And Aaron Williams was all over him. Keenan Robinson is a linebacker backing up, getting into the throwing lanes. Um, Curtis Brown, you know, getting that pick, got caught. I mean, I, he, I know he got ragged for that. I think he cramped up, but that may be an excuse on his part. Um, so, but, I mean, overall, you, you can't say enough. that This Texas defense, it's as good as we thought it could be and probably even better. And that's going to be... That that unit right there, just alone, will be good enough to keep us in any game this season. And, I mean, we, you know, Potts, he was knocked around all game. He didn't know where he was at the end of that thing. I think he started having flashbacks of last year and was wondering where, if if, Brian, if, uh, if um, Sergio Kendall's going to come out of nowhere and, and clock him again. But he got clocked enough by uh, Keiston Randall and the guys and um, Eddie Jones, of course. So, um, good stuff. On offense, now look, Texas offense, I thought that Gilbert did a good job. Now, he had three picks. Now, let's let's talk about the picks here, though. And maybe I'm just trying to, you know, sugarcoat everything. They were all tip balls, and Mack even said this. Now, I will. the one guy on Texas Tech that gets a lot of props from me and anybody else is that, I think it's Scott Smith, the 94 defensive end. That dude is a player. That dude was all over the place. He got the, both. He had the one he tipped to himself for a pick, and then he tipped the other one up for the pick six for Texas Tech. Uh, he had a couple of sacks. He forced a fumble. That dude's awesome. And so for that guy, that guy alone made this game close. If that guy's not playing, this thing's a runaway for Texas. And, uh, you know, and but I thought for the most part – Gilbert did play great, you know. I, you know, and I was wrong in my last video. I thought that Gilbert was going to have to, you know, be the be the shining star in this game, and he didn't have to be. Um, he played well, played well enough to win. Um, still got like kinks to work, but you could see that he he doesn't panic in, in stress situations. And um, when you know the game was close there, um, but you know we had a good enough defense to keep Tech from scoring, and we took took advantage of a lot of their mistakes, and we pulled out with the win. Um, you know, it, it, it's satisfying to beat Tech, 
But see, unlike the Texas Tech fan base and all that, uh, it's just another win for the Longhorns. It's an important win. It's a big win. Uh, but this, by no means, will make the Texas Longhorns season. Um, we are not. If this happened in Austin, we're not going to crash on the field and run around. And 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 to people, and, and, and maybe I'm just running off on this, but I took a note of this last year. Um, you know, I went to the game in Lubbock in 2008, and of course I'm a student here at Austin, so I went to the game last year against Tech here in Austin. And so I, I made a point to to notice this after the game was over, because I keep hearing this thing like there's bad apples everywhere, and and I agree with that. that Texas Longhorns fans are not perfect, and there are, there are Texas Longhorns fans that are just as worse as any other person out there. But as a collective group, after Texas Tech, you walk around in Lubbock after that game in a burnt orange jersey, you were getting, I mean, like I, I've told all that before, it was just nonstop, just harassment everywhere you went. But for some reason, in 2009, when Texas beat Texas Tech here in Austin, um... I, I want to take note, we walked out, it was real quiet, real somber, and I saw a Tech fan. I was like, oh, he's going to be Dunsky. No, uh, he was just talking to some guys, some Texas Longhorns fans, just like, man, what a game, man, that's pretty crazy. He, he wasn't getting harassed for some reason. He wasn't getting berated by all kinds of fans trying to grab his shirt and stuff. So if you Tech fans would like to address that situation, if, if you were at both places, uh, I'm not saying that you're not going to get hostility here in Austin, but it'll never match uh, what it was there in Texas Tech, just just to throw that out there, so, um, I feel, I, I just feel like I've, I overestimated Texas Tech a little bit, um, it was a close game, as I thought it would be, uh, but if you watch the game, um, you know, both teams shot themselves in the foot a lot, I'm not saying Tech's a bad team, um, but I think it was just one of those games where it's two teams that are fairly young, especially Texas, along the, around a lot of spots of the team, um, but, one team can recruit a little bit better than the other, and that showed up. And, of course, we'll get the whole money thing from Tech fans. Um, a lot of this, you know, this may seem like a little bit of a bitter video, and it's not from 2008. That's not what this is about. This is from reading posts on Facebook and Twitter and, and hearing other Tech fans after this game, even before the game was over, already making their excuses, already talking about how, you know, oh, you know, pot sucks and, and if we didn't have this, we would have won. You know, for a team, you know, for a team like Texas Tech, talking about how how easy it is to beat Texas when you've only done it 15 times in history. I don't know. Maybe Leach got in y'all's head or something. But I don't know. I'm proud of Texas, and it's it's good to have a week where Tech, A and M, and OU fans can't really say anything to you with any kind of validation to it. I mean, they'll, they'll say stuff. Um, but if you're a Longhorns fan this week, um, your team is not perfect. That performance out there is not going to win you a national championship. But compared to the way that those other three teams performed, um, I think you're pretty good on your stance on your team for this week, at least. Things change in college football, I know that. But for this week now, the Texas Longhorns look pretty good compared to the rest. So proud of the guys tonight. Gilbert did a good job. Running game still needs some work. It's still not there yet. Um, James Kirkendall, great job to be there uh, as a wideout. Mike Davis, of course, rookie, stepped in for uh, for uh, for Charles today. And uh, Garrett Gilbert, overall, good showing. Offensive line, cut those guys down a little bit. So, open up some running lanes. But we're going to be all right, Texas. We're all right. Hook them horns and Texas fight. See you guys later.